Hi friends. So recently I started a series of my top three drugstore products in every makeup category. And I did that because somebody wanted me to make that big video. Well, as I was doing it, I'm like, there are so many subcategories that I could go into. And there are so many fantastic products at the drugstore. Let's split this video apart and let's do different sections of it. So today we're going to be doing eyes. I was going to put the lips with the eyes, but there's just too much. So we're just going to keep the eyes by themselves. So if you're new to my channel, I always do like to show what I have on for a top. And if you feel like you've been seeing this top for the past three videos you have, because I'm batch filming, but I'll show you the top really quickly. Any makeup that I do have on that I don't talk about today and my fingernails and the clothing, the jewelry, everything will be listed and linked down below for you. I also do have a numbering system where I throw up a number here on the screen and that number corresponds to the product that I'm talking about at that moment. Then you don't have to remember the product. You can just remember the number that's on the screen. You can go down in the description box and find your number. Next to it will be the product, the color, and the link, and you can shop that way if you would like to. Some people find that this is a little bit easier than having to remember each individual product. I do also make sure that I put all of the links down in the first pinned comment below this video so that that's easier for you as well if you can't get to the description box. And one last thing, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Melissa, and I am 56 years old, and I love all things beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. And if that interests you, you're in the right place. Besides that, I have a fantastic community of very supportive women, and I hope that you do decide to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified of any future videos that I might be having come out. So that all being said, let's talk about my top three favorite eye products at the drugstore that are very affordable. Let's do that right now. Let's talk about prepping your eyes. I have three eye primers that I feel like are really good for different reasons. I feel like my favorite of all of these and the one that I use daily for a couple of reasons, one is because of discoloration, the other one is because holding on the eyeshadow. And that is from Jason Wu, let's turn that around, from Jason Wu. This is his eye primer and it is in light and it does have an opacity to it. So when I put it on my eyes, it smooths across my eyes and I find that it takes out any discoloration and then it just really brightens any sort of eyeshadow that I'm gonna put on top of it. And remember, a tiny, tiny bit of these goes a long way. The second one that I wanna talk about is the Milani. This is a gold standard for a lot of people. Now this isn't going to take out the discoloration if you do have a lot of discoloration on your eyelids like I do. This one will brighten your eyeshadow and keep your eyeshadow on. This is a lot of people's very, very favorite that they use every day. The third one is from NYX and this is a glitter eyeshadow primer. So if you have a special occasion when you want your metallics or you are going to wear glitter on your eyelids, you can just dab a little bit of this on and this is really good for keeping that on and you won't get any fallout from any glitter or any metallic sparklies that you are wearing for that day. So those are three fantastic ones. And we'll talk kind of quickly about single eyeshadows. Today on my eyelid, I'm using this Revlon one. This is one that has been around forever and this is the Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow. This one is in black current. I don't know why they call it black current. It's anything but black. It's a super beautiful metallic looking kind of a, oh, I would say it's almost a lilac or lavender color. It's that cross between the silver and the purple. It's so pretty and I love wearing this on my eyelids because it is no budge. It stays there all day long. It's a really gorgeous one and you're gonna have that pop forever. And then Moira, I actually, my next two single eyeshadows are for Moira. Moira is one of those companies that I think is so underrated. Oh my goodness, I feel like it just, it's a really high-end company that people just don't think about when they think about drugstore. And that's because you have to order it online. You can't just walk into a Walmart or CVS and just buy it. I wanted to show you this one because I feel like this one is so much like, I think it's called Mesmerize from Charlotte Tilbury, those ones. Those are really good shadows and they perform so well, but these ones perform every bit as good at a fraction of the cost. This is kind of just a brownish, very soft, doesn't really have metallic, I would say it's more of a satin, satin shimmer, who almost swore, satin shimmer in there. So these are beautiful. This comes in a bunch of colors. I think this would be a gorgeous one and done as well. And then Moira has these little singles too. 
These ones, I would, I feel like these ones rival the Urban Decay ones everybody talks about. These are more like toppers, and this one is the most pretty topper. You can see right there, it looks kind of silvery, but when you put it on, I don't want to get on top of that other one. When you put it on, you can see that it's just a topper. It's not really one that would deposit a lot of color. It doesn't deposit a lot of color. It just deposits that beautiful shimmer and gives your eyes just this mesmerizing look to them. So definitely reminds me of the Urban Decay ones. I just, I think they're so, so pretty. So those are the single shadows. And then when you're talking about stick shadows, I really don't have a favorite at the drugstore. This is where you guys can weigh in for me. If there are really good ones that are no budge stick shadows at the drugstore, I would love to know that. Now I'm not talking about eyeliner, I'm talking about the actual shadows. Okay, going on to eye palettes, eyeshadow palettes. I recently repurchased this one from NYX because mine was absolutely an absolute mess. There was some of them that were broken. This has been out for such a long time. I cannot believe that this is still out, but I'm so glad it is because I feel like this is one of their palettes. This is 16 pans. This is one of their palettes that they did just such a good job on. Ultimate Vintage Jean Baby Palette, color palette. So pretty. These mattes perform very nicely, not patchy. And the metallics in here are just absolutely gorgeous. I love this palette. It has a mix of warm and cool in here. You get the blues in here. I love wearing blue as an eyeliner, but I also like that they have the super icy colors too. They have the blue and then they have this duochrome up here that can go on just about anybody's eyes. That's kind of a shift between an icy white and then that pretty baby pink, so pretty. And then this blue right here that shifts between blue and gray. It's a really beautiful palette. You have some very deepened ones. They did a gorgeous violet over here. That is a true violet. It's a blue based violet that I just was very impressed with. But look how saturated and how pretty. I think that they did a fantastic job on this one. And it's one that I definitely wanted to put in here because I feel like it's on par with so many of the high-end ones. Now again with the Moira, you're gonna see a lot of Moira in here because Moira does eyes very well. They do a lot of other products very well too. But this is the Moira Endless Moonlight Celestial Series Pressed Pigments Palette. This is a really pretty palette and you know what? It is a neutral lover's dream. Look at this palette, it is so pretty. The way that they decorate their palettes are very pretty as well. I fell in love with this palette because of the metallics in here and the shimmers in here. They are such good quality, absolutely fantastic quality. But also what's cool about them is that a lot of them aren't this super blow you out of the water high beam. So if you've been wanting to wear a shimmer, but you're like, I can't wear that, it's just too much. There's some in here that aren't too much. They don't seem to be that outlandish, really metallic in your face color. You know, you could very easily wear it if you're somebody that likes the more subdued colors. But the mattes in here, they are dreamy. They are so buttery soft. Sometimes you get a palette that is so pigmented and so strong in its colors that you get carried away instantly. I feel like these are so buildable and so easy to work with that you're going to love how they perform across your eyes. And I believe that the one that I have on my eyes right now is this one right here to go with that single eyeshadow, just a little bit into my brow bone, or not my brow bone, but my um, transition color. So. Really pretty, love that one. And then for the third palette, you knew there'd be a ColourPop palette in here. These palettes that they did with this monochromatic tonal colors, and this one is Smoke and Roses. So this one has, they're gorgeous. So this one has their burgundies and pinks and just a little bit of the very neutral tones in it. You guys know how I feel about ColourPop. I feel like they can do no wrong where their eyeshadows are concerned. They truly should be in a high-end shop. I just, I absolutely love, love, love their metallics. They are so pretty and they can be built up or you can wear them a little bit lighter, but they are just knock it out of the park, pretty metallic colors. And then when you start to get into their matte colors, again, that butteriness and how pretty they blend across your eyes. They're just, they do an incredible job 
on their palettes. When ColourPop did these, they knew what they were doing. And I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. And you're probably thinking, I can't wear pinks. Well, there are a lot of peaches in here. You cannot go wrong with these. They are so beautiful. All right, I'm gonna talk about brows right here just to kind of break up the eyeliner type situation. I love a good micro brow and NYX micro brow has been my favorite forever. It's teeny tiny and I do love it. And I, it has the perfect color for me, which is an ash brown and it's very easy for me to work with. But I also do like the wet and wild one that is their micro brow as well. Let me see, this is, is called micro brow pencil, just like the other one is called spoolie on the other end with both, well, all three of these products. But that tiny, tiny little micro pencil is so easy for me to work with. And the reason that I like this wet and wild one is it's got a little bit more of a grayish tone to it. And that works really well for me with my ashy undertone on my hair. But recently discovered this one that I put into several videos and it is the NYX Powder Louder one. And what I really like about this when I'm in a really big hurry is that the tip of it is a little bit bigger, but it does act like a powder. So it's really easy for me to really quickly just put a little bit of, you know, pencil in there that feels like a powder, put a little bit of setting gel in there and good to go. Because it's just creamy and it works really well and it works really fast. So I don't normally enjoy having a bigger pencil, but I do enjoy having that. I just keep it sharpened and it works super, super well for me. And again, in ash brown for that one. Now, as far as gels, I have three that I feel like I interchange equally depending on which one of those pencils I use I will use the brow laminate from L'Oreal this is a super sticky just no, I shouldn't say sticky it's a super stick on brow gel that you are just going to absolutely love if you want your brows to stay in place and you don't want those brows to go anywhere all day this is going to be for you tiny little spoolie on there but the other two are tinted and it's the elf wow brow been wearing this for so many years this one has fibers in it that will build a very sparse brow so you have a few hairs but you don't have enough this one's going to do the job and deposit some fibers in there very, very good product. And then the Make Me Brow from Essence. This one is just a really good one if you have like gray hair in your eyebrows that you need to color and you can't seem to do that with the brow pencil. This one's really good. Tiny Spoolie, again, this is going to hold your brows in place as well. Really love that one too. This is a side note for eyes, but it kind of goes along with what I'm about to tell you about one of the eyeliners that I'm gonna suggest. This is an e.l.f. duochrome eyeshadow single, but I wanna show you how incredibly beautiful this duochrome is. Let's see if we can get it on a place where we can really shift it and, and look at it. This looks very blue in the tube. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. But as you're working with it, it shifts from blue to purple to a little bit of iridescent green. So maybe you'll be able to see that on camera, maybe not. But wow, it is so gorgeous in how it shifts. I'm even in my mirror, I'm even seeing, seeing a tiny bit of brown, but it does pick up the blue more than anything, the bluish purple. So I wanted to share this. I'm not sharing any other of these liquid single eyeshadows like that, but I definitely wanted to put that in here as an honorable mention. Now, as far as eyeliners go, Moira has a duochrome eyeliner that is incredible. And the, this is a no budge liner. So maybe you're somebody that just loves that duochrome look. Maybe you're somebody that wants this for a special occasion. This is incredibly pretty. Again, we're talking, the, see the purple first, and then I've got the blue in there as well as it shifts. So these are budge proof. And that's what I did with all of these liners is I'm bringing them to you and they are budge proof liners. That's why I chose them. Now you will have a little bit of time to work with them, but just know that they are that no budge. I wanted to show you these julep ones. Now this is a little bit more expensive. You can get these on sale. It's a little bit more expensive than the drugstore price, but not by much. And the reason that I wanted to show you this is because again, super no budge. Absolutely put it in your waterline and you're gonna love it in your waterline. But I love this particular color, which I think is called ocean blue or sapphire blue. And such a pretty, pretty color. And once it dries down, it is there. It is no budge. It is so good. Now that one is a one that you have to sharpen. The Moira is a mechanical one. And then the L'Oreal Infallible Grip. Look how many colors of these I have. 
I have almost all the colors of these. So I have a navy, a uh, cream colored one that can go in your eye, the rim of your eye in order to brighten your the whites of your eyes. I have a green one, I have a gray one, I have a brown one. The brown one I use almost every day up in my waterline on the top because I don't like to do liner across the top. Super duper silky formula like you would not believe. But the instant that these dry down, again, you are not going to have them budge and go anywhere. No, you know, no smudging down your eye or anything like that. These are incredible. They're so, so good. On the other side, you do have a little smudger that you can work with. And these are super e easy to smudge. But, you know, take a minute and maybe work with one eye and smudge them out. Because once they're set, they're set and you're going to have them. But I don't have a black in here, but I do have this beautiful graphite looking one or this um, kind of a grayish graphite one, so pretty, that I substitute for the black one because I just don't wear black eyeliner anymore. They're really nice and I think you will really love them. If you're someone that really enjoys having a liquid liner, I have the Infallible Grip liquid liners from L'Oreal as well. They are great too. They have a super fine tip that you can work with if you like to do a wing. I can't do a wing to save my life, but these will be on all day long as well. Super long wearing. And then my second choice for that would have to be the Physicians Formula. I have that in brown and I have it in the black. And this particular black one is their super duper slim tip. You can get that in the regular tip and then the, this really fine one. And boy, does that do a super fine line. And once again, they are very, very waterproof. Those are so good. And then the last one that I wanted to put in here was the Maybelline. This is the Tattoo Studio, I do believe. Let me get this look up. Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner Master Precise. And the reason, again, is that little tiny, teeny, bit of a tip on there is just fantastic for being able to do any sort of precision work. And I don't do a lot of liners like that anymore, but if you're somebody that does, I definitely wanted to bring these to you because all of them are budge proof and they work so well to be able to give you those little bitty liners. Lastly in my video is probably my favorite makeup product ever <laughs> as far as categories go and it's mascara. I adore mascara because I think that no other product can make your eyes pop like a mascara can. If you go without mascara, if I accidentally do, I get this, are you not feeling good today? Are you are you sick today? Don't you feel good? Anyway, I love mascara. It's one of my favorite things. So the e.l.f. Lash and Roll, this helps hold my eyelashes up after I've curled them. No, it doesn't curl them on its own. I don't feel like it does anyway, but I like the wand on it. It's a little bit bended, but not too much. I also like that it's a little bit shorter. So I can go in there and I can really get into the base of my lashes. And I also like that the tines on this, even though it is a plastic bristle brush or a silicone, it they're a little bit closer together. So this does give great volume, but it gives great length, but it gives the best curl, holds the best curl. I really like that one. And then L'Oreal came out with their Panorama Mascara. And I really fell in love with this really quickly. This one has a very unique brush on it. It is kind of like an evergreen Christmas tree type thing on there. But what I like about this is it seems to grab the lashes as I'm working with them. And what I do is I'm going to show you my last mascara here in a second, but I use this after I've used one with a natural bristle brush. This one again is a silicone bristle brush. And this just gives the greatest length. Now it will give you some volume if you just want to use it on its own, but it gives fantastic length. So if you have really good voluminous lashes already, but you don't have very long ones, you might really like this one. But my number one mascara that I've tried for years and years, is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. This is not a silicone bristle brush. It's more of a natural bristle brush in an hourglass shape. And this one will do volume like no other mascara. It just does great volume. And I do find that this particular mascara, it does feel like it's initially clumpy, but what happens is I think it's because it doesn't get warmed up. I live somewhere where in the summertime we keep it cold and in the wintertime it's cold anyway. And so I find that it might come out occasionally with clumps on the brush itself. 
all I do is warm this up. Now I'm either going to keep it in my armpit and let it warm up while I'm doing the rest of my makeup, or I'm going to run it underneath some hot water while it's closed and then go ahead and, you know, use it. And it is silky glide and just separates every lash. It is so good. It is what I do have on today besides what I just did when I was demonstrating that for you, but this is so good. So I will actually use this mascara with the natural bristle brush, and then I'll go in with either one of these. They actually all do a really good job of all of those things, but I'm just somebody that gets where I like using mascaras together. I, I do that with all my makeup. I mix and I match and I do kind of chemistry type thing. I wish I, you know, could come up with the perfect thing and had my own company, but I don't. So Let's mix and match. But I really love all three of these and I think that you will love them as well, especially if you haven't tried them before. So that is it for today's video as far as our second installment in the top three products in each category, volume eyes. So definitely wanted to bring that to you. I hope that you're all doing well. If you know of any eye products, the drugstore that you think are outstanding, I would love to hear that from you as well. Please tell us that down in the comment section. You guys give me the best suggestions. I absolutely love your suggestions. So that's everything. Take care of yourselves. I love you to pieces and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.